these uh, first awards that I will give out uh, for the varsity team were all voted on by our players. Uh, what was really special is I, I was going through all the votes was simply the amount of votes multiple kids got. And it, there was not a single award won here that was run away. And really, uh, it's an indication of uh, how great of a season every single kid on this team had. Uh, and it, it, was, it was a lot of fun to watch. Salim, varsity soccer, most improved player. We had a tie, Dominic Rossi and Zach Mitzel. Yeah. that they're putting in the work at practice. And these guys, uh, the entire season, put in the work, and that's you know, speaks to how, uh, how good of a year that they had. Our Coaches Effort Award, which I had multiple kids, uh, multiple kids get votes for, was a tie between Charlie Rogers and Cam Baccarella. award was an award that we did not, uh, I, I did not give out to the guys to vote on, and I didn't even think of this. A player on our team anonymously wrote on a note that this kid needs to get a shout out. Uh, he's simply an incredible teammate. He was the first kid uh, at every single game, standing up, cheering guys on uh, as they came off of the field. A kid that it is absolutely a dream to coach because of his willingness to be there for his teammates and do whatever it takes in order to better our team. Our best teammate award goes to Jason Hutt. Yeah. Our unsung hero award, again, uh, we got multiple votes for a lot of kids because I think a lot of kids this season uh, were absolutely phenomenal but did not always get the credit. And the Unsung Hero Award, uh, what this award stands for is a player that is not always uh, getting recognition in the sling post, is not always getting recognized after games, but simply was an absolute rock throughout the entire season. Our Unsung Hero Award goes to Ryan Grill. Yes. Our next award was our defensive MVP. Um, again, a lot of guys, I mean, when you give up six goals in an entire season, uh, with the schedule that we had, it's very impressive. And there are so many kids, not only defenders, uh, that could have won this. Our midfielders defensively were absolutely solid. Uh, our goalkeeping from both Quinn and Sam were absolutely rocks. Uh, this kid is a kid, though, who again had had some votes with the un unsung hero, did not win it, but was an absolute brick in the back for us. Defensive MVP, Nate Mir. Offensive most valuable player, a um, couple of kids in the running for this, and uh, really an award that uh, th this kid, it's, again, it's, it's more than just a season. It's, it's an unbelievable career, 
Uh, if you ever have more than 40 assists in a, seat, in a career, that is absolutely remarkable. Offensive MVP, Ryan Nichols. We have two more awards that were voted on by the team. Uh, first award, our player to watch. This is voted on by only our seniors. Um, again, this is a guy that the seniors want to come back and watch next year and really feel like this kid can take our team to the next level. Um, a, a kid that is an absolute stud. He, he's a great soccer player, a kid that I really believe in, and a kid that, I, again, I think could win Mr. Soccer next year. Player to watch, Zeke Gray. Our last award, uh, Irreplaceable Senior, and I, all, all 12 of these guys are irreplaceable to me. They've all left an impact on this program. Uh, I, I would vote for all of them. Uh, I've absolutely loved coaching these kids. Irreplaceable Senior is voted on by juniors, sophomores uh, from our varsity team. This is a kid that has left an impact on our program in just one year. He is an absolute beast, Charlie Rogers. <laughs> now I'm going to list off the players that were that were awarded all district. Uh, these are players in the district tournament that really stood out uh, and in more ways than you know just scoring goals. And we had a lot of kids that received this honor, which is absolutely awesome because they're more than deserving of. All district team goes to Braden Stavros, Charlie Rogers, Ryan Nichols, Nate Learman, Mitch Kalitta, Ryan Grill, Zeke Gray. Quinn Fox. I've got your guys down there. I got time. <laughs> so you guys can call out. Our next players are players that moved on past the all district team. We had uh, multiple players this year, and that is, uh, it, it's pretty unheard of for any team in the state to receive this many guys. And uh, it's awesome that we're getting the recognition because uh, these guys had an absolute phenomenal year. Players that will be all states. Charlie Rogers, All State Honorable Mention. Quinn Fox, All State Honorable Mention. You two can come on up. And then the next two players, uh, I won't know. Uh, the state the state championship is on Saturday, so they vote after it. Uh, one player will be receiving, I'm sure, at least third team all state. Uh, very, very likely second team and possibly first team. Um, we'll just have to see uh, how Skyline does. I, I don't, I don't want to root for them, but it could push our guys further. A uh, player that will get at least third team. Maybe second, maybe first, Zeke Gray. And then our last player to be mentioned here, uh, 
player that went first overall in our region, a player that will be for sure first team all state, and possibly uh, the second player ever at Selene to be dream team. Again, this is uh, to be determined, but for sure, uh, the seventh kid ever at Selene to be first team all state, Ryan Nichols. <laughs> vote on them. Uh, this is a player that uh, I believe uh, deserves this award more than anyone. He's an absolute uh, great, great leader, great work ethic, uh, a player that wins the Sportsmanship Award for the SEC Conference, Brendan Foster. <laughs> Honorable mention players, Quinn Fox, Noel Sompa, Brendan Foster, and Nate Clearman. And now we have our first team all SEC, Ryan Nichols. Zeke Gray, Charlie Rogers, Mitch Kalitta, and Ryan Grill. Thank you all so much uh, for everything this season. Thank you for uh, all the hard work to make tonight special. Um, we can't thank you enough. This is the best program in the state to coach, uh, and, and it all starts with all of you. So thank you all. Uh, I believe that we have a varsity. Uh, we have a varsity video. So we'll watch a varsity video. After the video, I please ask uh, if anyone, or if everyone could please for 10 minutes help clean everything up. We would truly appreciate that. Uh, congrats on a 